Hey guys, this is Knight, and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Portal. 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 There's me, what's up? Anyway guys, in the last episode, we got the dual portal gun, as you can clearly see. And in this episode, we are going to continue going through the later set of test chambers. We're going to be going through 13 today. I don't know how many we'll get through. I'm, if I were to guesstimate, I would say maybe 13 through 15 or 13 through 16. Because this is the stage of the game where the tests start getting longer and more time consuming. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to get that cube. No, the first thing we want to do is break this camera. Yeah, I know. And then we want to put it on this button. Well, actually, no, we don't want to put it on that button. What we want to do is we want to stand on this button, shoot a portal through that grave. And then, carry this button through the orange. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to remember, trying to remember how this test goes. Just give, just give me a second. Yeah, we do want to put this on here for a second. Uh, right now, put a blue portal right there. And we're going to drop this onto the button. Okay, so now that cube is in that room on that button. And there's actually a shortcut that you can take in this test, and I guess I'll show you that really quick. I'm just going to. Where does that energy ball go? I want. I want to walk. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm safe from it if I go down here. Okay. I'm safe from this. I found a glitch once where I dropped onto this cube and I died and I had no clue. Like seriously. Oh, I'm on the ceiling. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Get. get okay. There we go. Okay. I'm all good. Now, what you can do is you can stand on that button. It opens the door and then you just shoot your portal into the room and you're done. But I. I want to show you guys it the legit way. And to be honest, I haven't done it the legit way in a while. Oh, the legit way is actually pretty easy now that I look at it. Let's do that. Goes through there. Okay, this, I'm going to show you the legit way of how to do it. So it powers that platform blue, orange. Oh, no, right here is where I hit that glitch. Radio Buddy! Ah! Oh, I got to save you! Yeah, I gotcha! My buddy is safe. I got to get... I gotta, now Now I can get the cube. Cube's my buddy, yeah, but he's not as much as my buddy as the... As the, uh, as the uh, as the, uh, the radio is. I gotta, I gotta take Mr. Radio with me. Yeah, we're gonna take Mr. Radio on our adventures through Aperture. Alright, that's the legit way to do it. But like I said, all you have to do is stand and put one cube on that button up there. Or put, yeah, well, put one cube on that button and then stand. Wait. I had to do that. And then I'm gonna drop this through the pump. But yeah, all you gotta do is put one cube on that thing right there and then you can stand on that one and just shoot your portal in the room and it's like a shortcut. But, that was the actual way to do it. So I'll just shoot our portal in there. We're gonna take Mr. Radio with us. That catchy. Excuse me? Oh, I don't remember that part. We can no- GLaDOS can no longer lie to us. Does that mean that she was lying to us before? I don't like it when people lie to me. I just had some Oreos, and the taste of chocolate is still in my mouth. It's very nice. Ah, the taste of Oreos. Oreos are like magic. Okay, test number 14. We're only up to three and a half minutes. This thing has a lot of obstacles in it. Right, let's go. All subjects intending to handle high-energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Okay, the only thing I was able to pull out of that was excellent test subject because those words are really big and complicated. Too big for my stupid little mind. So the first thing we're going to do is a momentum thing. What you got to do is jump in the portal and we can get this cube right here. I think I would, I think Chell would have just broken a couple teeth at the forge she flew into that thing. Now, one thing to note about this staircase is that it only comes up rather... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, it's, I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. Um, I believe there's actually a shortcut you can do in this one too, but I'm not sure how to do it. Alright, so we're going to go down here. I hear a radio somewhere. i got to save my buddy. Oh yeah, I remember this room. Alright, this is, you could either be stupid and do it the simple platform, you could either, yeah, you could be stupid, do it the platforming way, or you could do it the sciencey way, and do it with portals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my orange portal up here, and put my blue right here so that the energy ball does not danger me. 
All right, so now we're just we're gonna do this the platforming way because we can't move our portals, so we had to jump across it on the way back. Okay, so what color do I have set up? Okay, so the blue is in that room and the orange is up there. So we are going to shoot the orange right there. There we go. And see as it goes, it went into the pallet. There we go. Complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. Victory lift. The main chamber. So that's like this main room right here. See, we're constantly being watched in all these test chambers. Looks like we're being watched at least, but technically by nobody at all. Look at that, it's like these like little fireballs. Like it's a little why how come sometimes it's like a splatter, but other times it's like this ball. Oh, a loading screen. Alright, let's go. Test number 15. This is where stuff really starts getting crazy. Is to the well-being of all participants. Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. No problem, GLaDOS. This game makes me crave cake. Vital testing apparatus. This game will make you crave cake more than any other game. Alright, so, another simple basic momentum thing. There's our ore, except now we actually have two portals that we can control, just like in chest 14. But the thing about this one is that just going through it one time would not have been enough, so instead I would have I went through my portals a second time, as you just saw me do. You must die. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. You must die. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. I love doing that. He's gonna tell. Yeah, this right here, when I have one of my friends, I'm gonna throw him in here. Get, get in there. Yeah, you're dead. It's camera. Um, yeah, this is where one of my friends, I had her come over and play Portal. She got really, really, really stumped right here. I don't blame her. Well, um, I, I just kind of messed up. I'm just going to put my portals right here so they don't get in the way of anything. Okay, um, what you have to do in this section is you must set up your portal. I'm just going to put my orange right there so that the portal... You, what you have to do is... You have to very quickly, like, I mean very quickly, watch, okay, just watch this. That's what you gotta do. Okay, so in case you didn't catch that, what I did was I set up a blue and orange right here, and as the energy pallet, like, just as the energy pallet came through the orange portal, I stepped in here, which erases the portals, and then I had to very quickly set it up like that again, so it would go into the pallet. So that's what you have to do right there. Going up. Alright, what's up next? What's next? That's not the end of the test, we're still going. Derp. One of the only problems with this game is that you walk very slow. I don't like you watching me. That thing was really creepy, like that what that angle I think was that was really creepy. But yeah, um, um let's let's get working. So as you can see right here, you would think oh it's just a momentum thing, but obviously we cannot portal. It's not a portalable surface right here. So you would think that doing this, I will be able to make it, but no, you cannot. So what you have to do is you have to come over to this little area, and there's this handy little ledge. Whoopsies, I fell in, I fell in the handy little ledge. So we need to go down to this handy little ledge, and I'm gonna have to, once again, I'm gonna have to explain this after I do it. Just watch it, just watch. Okay, so if you didn't catch that, I flew, I jumped off the little ledge, Flew through here, but that still would not have been enough. So I had to shoot the portal at exactly where I was landing in order to get enough power, like momentum, to fly through the pallet or fly through the, the energy grid. Right, so now we just have to do more momentum right here. Oh, mess that up. Do this like that. Okay. So there's another good example of it. All right. So this is pretty simple right here. Just do blue and orange. Wait for the pallet to come back around. Or the ball, what are you gonna call it? There we go. Alright, the receiver is powered. I will just I forget, you can't shoot portals through you. Moron. You gotta use momentum to get out of here as well. Alright. Well, this part right here is also kinda tricky. It can be tricky. This is a very long test. Alright, so basically you just have to keep shooting your way up this up this area. And yes, you can stand on the boundary between portals as I am doing right now. Alright, now I just gotta get in there. I'll come through the floor. Alright. And we are now in the final like room of 
this chamber. This is the final room. This is also, right here, one of the most, probably, yeah, one of the more difficult moments in Portal that you have to overcome. Basically, as you can see in there, there is an energy pellet behind that door. And there are also two buttons. This is another thing I'm probably going to have to do very quickly. And then I'll explain to you afterward. Alright, let's do this. And there we go. You can donate one or all of your vital organs to the All right. Extra Science Self-Esteem Fund for Girls. It's true. Yes, you can donate your vital organs to the Aperture Science Esteem Fund for Girls, or whatever it was just called. But basically what I just did right there, in case you couldn't pick that up, I hit the buttons, hit the two buttons, uh, hit one button, use the portal to get over to the other button, because you have to have both of them activated in order to open the door to the pallet, or the receiver unit, and then I very quickly set up portals right here, which shot the pallet into the receiver unit before the door closed. So yeah, that's, that's a mouthful. If you, if you didn't catch that, then just go, just rewind and watch the video again. Ugh, I might have to end it right here. Because, yeah, these last few tests, they're not too difficult for a person that's played through it a few times like me, but... They, they're time-consuming. Like, that test just took, like, five or six minutes. Oh, this one. I love this one. All right, listen to this. Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and, and wishes, wishes you the best of luck. That's one of my favorite quotes in this game. I don't know why. I have just memorized that so much. I think I, yeah, I think I have that entire thing right there memorized. But anyway, guys, what lies around the corner? Well, she said a live fire course, so I'm guessing you know what's coming. Well, I'll just leave the cliffhanger for those of you who don't know. I'm Knight. I'll see you guys next episode.